the op-ed that was put out by President Biden, which you know um, in his stance on the United States, how far he wants to advance <clears throat> the United States and Ukraine-Russia's war and the goal there. Um, but just recently, in fact, last night, we sat down with uh, uh, Ukrainian President Zelensky. Um, here's what he had to say and exactly what he says he needs. Here's the Ukraine president. Ports, we could be exporting millions of tons of grain. Otherwise, we might face a food crisis. Currently, 22.5 million tons of grain are blocked by the Russia. In order to deblock this territory, with an exit to the sea, with an exit to water, with an exit to our people, we need to fight, and we need to have uh, weapons with effective range of fire of 120, 140 kilometers. I know you serve on the uh, the House of, uh, of Foreign Affairs uh, committee there, so I wanted to ask you about that. So, bottom line is he's asking forty billion dollars of aid has already been signed off on. Uh, he needs rocket systems. The president, in one of his op-eds, outlined that he is now going to send advanced rocket systems to Zelensky, seven hundred million dollars worth. This would be medium range um, rockets, not long range. It would be roughly about thirty. I believe 39 miles is how far, 49 miles is how far medium range would go versus over, I believe, 80. Um, your thoughts on this and the United States consistently providing Ukraine with this type of assistance? Well, first of all, uh, medium range is uh, you move it to the border and it becomes long range missiles. Let's just be honest. $40 billion is what we sent to them basically unchecked. The president already sent, I believe, $13 billion. That makes $53 billion. Russia's entire military budget for this year is just $62 billion, not just just, but it is $62 billion. We've got to start questioning where this money is actually going. Is it getting to where it needs to be? Um, and you got to look at the complexities of the bill. It's, it's just beyond me that this amount of money that we don't even have, which we're borrowing from the Chinese, which they all, all intelligent tells us that's, that's where our next conflicts are going to be involving. So... It, it raises a lot of questions, and this reminds me of very parallels to Vietnam, if you remember our short history there, I mean, our, our short memory of that. We, um, we, we sent money. They stole some of it. We sent some, we sent some armament in there. They couldn't handle it. We sent advisors in, and then we sent troops in, and then they sent body bags home of American soldiers. And I just, uh, this, this further inclement towards war, to me, is a very, very, Serious issue, and you got to figure, China. Good gosh, they've been they've uh, um, enslaved millions of Uyghurs, and yet we're still buying our goods from China. Nobody's raising cane about China. So uh, the military-industrial complex is alive and well. Start looking at stock portfolios when you have members of Congress making 75 percent in leadership, making 75 percent return on their their stocks investments. We sure got to start looking at what the heck's going on. As my daddy used to say, let's follow the money. And we're going to clearly have to follow the money. But I support Ukraine in their fight for freedom. But sure. also, sorry, I'm running on here, but but you, but you, that Europe is going to have to step up at some point. Yeah. It, 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 they are not financially doing their fair share. And, um, and it's continuously going to be my great grandkids paying for this war. And... So at some point, somebody's got to answer some of these questions. Well, this is the, uh, I believe, the 11th aid package that has been sent out by the United States in, in, in all forms. Um, and you point out a, um, something that is a sentiment, I believe, in many Americans, if you just read social media alone, uh, it's one thing to want to ha help a sovereign nation. Um, but when this country is going through a record high inflation and gas prices they cannot afford, baby formula they cannot find, writing checks of $40 billion to other countries, even when their own European nations aren't even sending that amount even together, uh, really doesn't make a lot of sense to the American people uh, at this time. And then here comes another $700 million. Um, in advanced rocket systems as well on a war that you don't know when it's going to end. Uh, even uh, Mark Milley, Chief Mark Milley, uh, Joint Chiefs of Staff, has even said that this yep. could go on for years.